Tracking is an invaluable tool, whether it's to add graphics or do VFX compositing or some cleanup work, it's a must have skill for any editor. And with After Effects in your Creative Cloud subscription, it's also easier than you might think. To start, we're gonna locate our tracking window. Usually this will be on the right, but if you don't see it, go to Window and select Tracker, or go to your arrows here and select the Motion Tracking Workspace. For this example, we're gonna be tracking text onto the wall here, so we'll select our clip and click Track Motion. In here, we have the options to track position, rotation, and scale. Depending on what you're doing, you may just need one or two, but our shot is handheld, so we need position and rotation, and it's moving toward the wall, so we're gonna need scale as well. After clicking all of these, we're gonna have tracking points to set. You're gonna to wanna to have these over contrasting elements. In our clip here, we place black tape on the wall that gives us a nice defined and contrasty edge for the tracker to follow. We also have these two pieces of tape at a good enough distance to pull our proper scale and rotation data. As we place our points, you'll notice there are two boxes per point. The inner box is showing After Effects what to track specifically. You'll wanna make this just large enough for the detail you're tracking, while the outer box is your search area for the tracking point your inner box has defined. If there's a lot of movement, you'll need a wider outer box, but the wider you make it, the more processing power it will require, meaning a slower solve. But with your points set, go to the Analyze section of the tracker window, tap Analyze Forward, and the process will begin. You'll wanna keep an eye on it as it tracks to make sure there's no slipping. If you do notice either of the points losing their track, you can move back to the frame before they slip and tap Analyze one frame forward to see if that corrects the issue. If it doesn't, then your best bet is to manually reposition the tracker until after after Effects is able to grab onto those points again. Once you're done, create a new null object in your timeline, then back in the tracker window, select Edit Target and apply motion to the null layer, and then hit OK. We're sending this to a null object instead of our clip because a null can be used to control other layers. So we can now set our text layer where we want it, then parent it to our null by using this pick whip here, which will now force the tracking data on our text layer. The best part about using a null like this is you can continue to adjust the text layer without a affecting the track. And you can add as many other layers on as you would like and parent those to the same track as well. If you need to go further, 3D tracking will allow you to place whatever element you want within 3D space of your shot. For instance, let's recreate this title flying past the camera. To start, select your clip, go to the tracker window and select track camera. This will add the 3D camera tracker effect to your clip. You can also do this by going to effects perspective and clicking 3D camera tracker. After Effects will immediately start analyzing your shot. Once that's done, go to advanced and check what the average error is. Anything below one pixel is great if it's above one pixel then you can try tapping on Detailed Analysis and After Effects will take a deeper look at your shot. Once done, you can click on the effect and you'll notice all these colored tracking points. The green points are good tracks and the red points are poor tracks, so you'll want to avoid those. If you're trying to lock to a certain point, meet a ground plane and so on, you can hold down Control on Windows and Command on Mac and select multiple tracking points. But because we want our text to follow the general camera movement, we can just tap the Create Camera button. Now create your text or drop in whatever asset you'd like, enable 3D layer and you'll now have some flying text. If I want the camera to go between the text layers, I'll click the stopwatch on the position keyframe and readjust the Z space position so that it flies in between the text at the desired point. If you want bigger movements here, you can hold down the shift key while adjusting where your text is in space and that will give you a larger movement over time. Or if you want more precise control, you can hold down control or command. To make this cleaner, I can fade the text in, maybe add a blur effect to emulate the text coming into focus, drop in some PNGs of some clouds and animate them how I want, and there we have it. Some basic ways to get you started with 2D and 3D tracking. As always, if you have something you'd like to see us cover, feel free to drop us a comment below. And subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and updates like this one, because ants don't have lungs. Did you know that?